everybody. Welcome back. It's been a minute since I filmed anything, so I might be a little slow today. No, I was just busy shooting my own TV show. <laughs> but we're back at it, and we're starting things off with a story about a bride who got left at the altar. Like, actually left at the altar. Her fiancé just didn't show up. I know. So what did this bride do? Well, she got the ultimate petty revenge. Here is why everyone is talking about this bride. Her name is Kaylee and she's hitting the headlines because she decided to go ahead with her wedding even when the groom didn't show up. On the morning of her big day, the 27 year old found out that her partner of four years had got cold feet. But the wedding which reportedly cost thousands had already been paid for and Kaylee didn't want to let her family down. She walked into her wedding party playing Lizzo's Good As Hell. She smashed the wedding topper off her cake. She took shots with family and friends. She gave an emotional speech to her entire wedding party all about self-love. And she even enjoyed her first dance with a family member. Haley said, it was an absolute shock. I had no indication he was going to do this, but seeing my girls distraught as well made me want to turn the day around. I didn't want to remember the day as completely complete sadness. Ah! Emotions! It's just emotions take me over. That right there is the ultimate petty revenge. All right, I gotta know more, I gotta know more, I gotta know what people are saying. His loss, with that attitude, she would have made him a brilliant wife. That's what's up. Oh, I'm sorry, did you expect me to just go home and cry? Most people would have, honestly, in a situation like that. Like, sign me up for the tubs of ice cream and popcorn and don't ever talk to me again. However, you got a party to throw. Best part was the groomsmen also stayed and partied with her. Oh, interesting. Like the groomsmen, like his groomsmen, like the fiance's groomsmen. I guess it's safe to say that they did not support the groom's decision. As she should, hope she had the best night of her life surrounded by everyone who loves her. Now this is main character energy. That's what's up. She should also go to the honeymoon with her friends. Yes, can I come too? <laughs> Bestie, pick me! He blew it. She's a keeper. All right, we don't know every side to every story. Remember, there's, there's always three sides. His side, her side, and the truth. But I mean, this is kind of hard to argue with. Wow, and they all showed up, dressed for a wedding. Oh, look at her. She's glowing. She's so beautiful. Inside and out. Smash it. Smash it. Smash it. Yes. Yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up. We're living for this energy in 2022 slash almost 2023. I want to know who the groom is. Who could be dumb enough? So I was a jilted bride and unfortunately crap things happen to people. Even though the day didn't go to plan, I couldn't let the hard work that I put into this day and a good party to go to waste. The day was filled with many laughs and a lot of tears. When they asked me what song I wanted to enter into, there was no other choice but Lizzo's anthem of a song, good as hell. Who just left me at the altar? Oh, I'm, I'm feeling good as hell because thank God, thank God. Bullet dodged. Kaylee Stead, 27 years old, realized on September 15th, the morning of her nuptials, that she had a feeling she wasn't gonna walk down the aisle to marry her partner, who she'd been with for four years. She was ghosted. ghosted. I saw the groom at around 4 p.m. the day before the wedding and I hadn't heard from him since. We tried to reach out to him, but I had no response from him, no reason why. I had no explanation. Not that I want one now because it's too far along the line. So this groom did not even give her a reason you just ghosted her i guess it's easier than facing consequences for now she went into more detail about the incident explaining what went down in the hours prior to the wedding the welsh native began dating her ex-fiance in december 2018 and they got engaged in august 2020 
She noted that she stayed in an Airbnb the night before her party with her gals while the groom and his groomsmen resided in a caravan near the venue. Stead and the groom had decided not to speak to each other the evening before the marriage, so she didn't know what was happening on his end and didn't have a clue. The next morning, Stead and her bridesmaids woke up at the crack of dawn to get their hair and makeup done. It wasn't until one of the groomsmen phoned up her best friend to let them know that the groom had vanished. They wanted to make sure he was definitely gone before panicking me. His mom also called her up in hysterics, sobbing that the groom had gone for a drive in the early morning and he was now gone. Like imagine not saying anything, you know, because like what if they were worried about you thinking that something had happened to you? Like you're letting them just wonder about what happened to you? Like you're all of your friends and family? I could never. Stead pointed out that her ex oftentimes went for walks or drives by himself to clear his head when he was anxious and therefore she didn't feel nervous. She advised her friends and family to keep on getting ready and held out in hope that the groom would return. She honestly believed hand on heart that he was going to be there. But at 11 a.m., the groom's father revealed that he would not be showing up after all. At that point, I was gone. I was sobbing, adding that she had to break the news to the rest of the bridal party, her hairstylist, parents, and videographer. Her videographer came up with the idea as a joke to just have fun, keep calm, and carry on with the wedding. Yeah, man. Like at that point, like, couldn't you have figured it out before that? Like you spent all this money, you invited everybody. You couldn't have just made your decision a little bit before the wedding. Cause those vendors aren't giving your money back. Her friends egged her on, encouraged her to keep on going. That's when I was like, I'm gonna do it. I spent all this money. I've been looking forward to the food, a dance with my dad, spending time with my family. So why not get married to yourself? <laughs> The groomsmen and her bridal party then headed down to the venue to explain to the guests what had transpired. All of the groomsmen stayed, as well as her friends, family, and loved ones. Her party goers were sad about the devastation, but nevertheless, they supported her and stayed for the reception. Damn right. I didn't want to remember the day as complete sadness. There were so many special moments, so there was still happiness. All right, this right here, this is the ultimate petty revenge. Not doing little petty things to get back at people. I know we all love to laugh and make fun of it and it's all fun and games and lighthearted humor. But the fact of the matter is, is the best revenge is when they see you happy without them. Like actually happy, not just like posting on social media about it, pretending to be happy, posting your thirst traps. No, no, get ahead in life. Get happy, and then you have your petty revenge. But I still want to know exactly what the hell the groom was thinking. <laughs> Let's find him. Where is he? Where is he? Whee! Groom who jilted bride on the day of their 12,000 pound wedding finally breaks silence. He's refused to apologize for his actions. Oh, you don't think that you've done anything wrong here? We never know what's going on in other people's relationships, but honestly, the way that she handled it doesn't look very good for you. You know, I would say that she's a victim here. On this morning, she said, I wish there was signs that this would happen because then I would have had a reason to back up this decision, but there wasn't. No relationship is perfect, but I honestly did think we were each other's person. She's living alone now with no explanation from her ex and her honeymoon is canceled. I just like, what? I'm sad that you didn't go on that honeymoon too. Let's not do this to people. Let's not do this at all. I think that we're all living in a world now where it seems like it's totally fine to just ghost people, but like, just don't. Like at the very least provide an explanation. At the very least, figure your shit out before you're supposed to walk down the aisle with someone. But honestly, darling, I think, I think you dodged a bullet. Anyone who would think about doing that and not apologize and not see that it's wrong. Like, it's just, it's, he's not right for you or pretty much anybody else, to be honest. If you were stood up on your wedding, what would you do? Like, be honest. Cause I think we would all like to say we would like to be like Kaylee. I probably wouldn't be able to muster up the courage. The humiliation would probably be way too much for me to handle. I'd definitely go on the honeymoon though. <laughs> Unless it was like a place that was full of couples, then maybe not. But there was a poll by Manchester News if you were set up on your wedding day, what would you do? 40% agreed with me, cancel it, I'd be a mess. What Kaylee did, 39.2%, try to track my ex down, for what? For what? Uh-uh, that is inexcusable. inexcusable. Don't let the Carrie Bradshaws of the world make you think that it would end up right, because it won't. He leaves you at the altar, it's probably a pretty good indication that he's not the one. There's no coming back from that. All right.
right, that's it for this video. And don't ever forget, the best revenge is them seeing you happy. Subscribe!